Hey church, it's me Justin um, and I am from uh, the central campus um, and I'm on kids team. Um, I've, been, I've been on a few teams but yeah I'm, uh, I'm enjoying serving on kids at the minute and uh, yeah it's, um, I've, I've just literally come back from a holiday over in Spain. It's been so good to be able to travel hey with uh, the restrictions lifting and stuff and um, while I was over there um, I spent a little bit of time in the uh, on, on, on a, out running and doing some fitness stuff, and um, it's pretty much like the Wild West where uh, where we go on holiday over there. It's very rough and ready, and we absolutely love it as a family. But um, one 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 evening I was out there running, and um, the kind of Holy Spirit just just gave me a little nudge, and he's like, "You're in the wilderness," and I'm like, "Yeah, I know. It's great. Come on, me and you on this journey together. Life, faith, love, all those crazy things that." that the Holy Spirit talks to you about all at once. And um, he was doing one of those things. And he's like, yeah, but you'd, you'd, you've done it you've done it to yourself I've, I've not I've not asked you to be out in the wilderness and and the, the the man inside was like yeah but I'm tough I can I can last out here I'm I'm I'm, I'm I've, I've got this Jesus I've, I've, I can I can live like this and and the Holy Spirit just gave me that little bit of a nudge and he's like yeah but I'm not I'm not condemned you uh, that, that, that condemnation isn't on you and in in that moment um, it, it just it felt like I got lighter while I was running. It, it felt like something, I left something behind me. I was like I dropped a rucksack or something. It, it just, it was one of those Holy Spirit moments where you suddenly realize that, oh, hang on a minute, that, that condemnation that I was carrying, that not wanting to be around people, that wanting to be um, out there by myself, do you know what I mean? It was, it was almost like it was killing my identity and my identity in Christ. It was, it was, it, it, it was, it was destroying relationships in and, in, in and around my life. Um, and, and it was also seeking, um, it, it was stealing the power, the, the Holy Spirit power that he's put inside each and every one of his church. Um, and, and when those three things, steal, kill and destroy, you're like, well, there's a, there's a big warning label. Like, we, we need to do something, we need to, to do something about this. And, and hey, church, if you feel like you've, you've had your identity stolen, if, if, if you feel, feel like you are, you are self-condemning and finding yourself in that spiral of, oh no, I've, I've shouted at the kids again on the way to church, or oh no, I've, 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 I've kind of messed up this, 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 this journey of faith that I'm trying to take my friends on to accept you as Lord and Savior, and, and that, that element of life, and, 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 a, and, a, and a huge loss of confidence, because we've not been around people during COVID, have we? It's, it's, been, it's been totally different, but there's, there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Romans 8. Like there's, there's, there's literally no reason for you to, to, to run away and, 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 and try and keep yourself in that bubble of, 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 of I, I thought I was trying to be holy. I, I thought oh, I'm all right, mate. But, but actually how many times have, have, we, have we found ourselves in, in that self-sabotaging circle of condemnation? Church, the, the fact is, all that condemnation, all that 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 moment in history, was was there, there was there was three nails, and and our condemnation was in those three nails. It it literally has been it's gone. There's no there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. We are we are in Christ. We've said yes to Jesus. We've put up our hand. We're we're trying to live that godly life, and 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 suddenly life brings up those those, those things, and we find ourselves getting tangled up. Um, but church, there is no condemnation. Stop condemning yourself. Like I was condemning myself and finding myself in a wilderness time. S stop it. <laughs> just, just turn it off. Just, you, you don't have to be condemned. You don't have to self-sabotage that anymore. Can you imagine a life for a moment where every opportunity you met, you met it with faith, hope and love? Not the internal kind of discussion. Not that, oh, I'm not good enough to be in this space. Not a, not a wrong kind of, oh, where's my, where's my confidence gone? Actually, a, hang on, there's, there's, I don't need to, I, I'm, I'm good enough. Like, he loves me enough. He's trusted me enough to carry his word, to carry his love, to carry his, his praise and his passion and all those amazing things into this world. And hey, we get to move forward with knowing that Jesus loves us completely and there is no condemnation. There's no more self-sabotage because he has taken all of that. He has dealt with all of that so that we can live an awesome life, so that we can live an incredible life of servanthood and, and, and not carrying any of those heavy, heavy burdens. Hey church, don't have a good day, have a great day. And uh, yeah, see you soon.